when was the last time you used internet i'm sure you will say right now you you watching this video right data is everywhere and that's why the popular saying by mukesh ambani data is the new oil i really believe that uh, data is the new oil but when it comes to the biotech sector is data the new oil or it was always the oil the answer is it was always the oil without data any kind of biotech research is impossible maths is embedded into biology whether it is atgc any kind of sequencing data everywhere you will find some kind of pattern and smart biologists of today know that if others cannot do and if you can do you can earn a lot of money and that's where your usp comes into picture so if you can analyze data if you can decipher data if you can interpret data better than others then you are going to be in demand my dear friend welcome to today's video today we are going to give you a step by step career road map on how to become a big data biologist i'll be telling you uh, what educational qualifications you need what kind of projects you need to do what you should do after your graduation and post graduation what kind of companies will hire you what will be the salary in india in united states in europe and all of that in this one single video so take your pen and paper and let's get started now to start with there is right now no such particular course for data science and biology to be very fast there is only one course probably that is big data biology in ibab now apart from that we also have some projects available in biotechnica which you can always do we'll come to that a little later but right now as soon as you get started so basically we don't want you to do any kind of specialization into data science early you should have a regular degree in biotechnology which is a bsc biotech or a btech biotech okay and then you have to go for some kind of specialized knowledge now what kind of specialized knowledge biological data analysis now that is where genomics transcriptomics proteomics comes into picture and then you should also learn how to do ngs data analysis how to do crispr data analysis how to analyze single cell data and then you will need some kind of programming language to analyze because the biological data is not um, like uh, you know a few data points like uh, 100 uh, samples or 100 data points it will always be in like millions of data points so you cannot use uh, regular um, mathematical tools to do it you will need a computer and you will need to learn programming languages now what are those programming languages the best one among all of them is python now apart from that you have bash perl of course many are there which you can learn obviously at biotechnica i'll come to that a little later so yeah python and r you have to learn that is a must have now followed by that you will have to learn some big data tools now what are those big data tools that is hadoop spark dask aws Google Cloud Azure all of this you will have to learn now you these are some IT tools but as a biologist you have to learn because other biologists have not learned this so if you learned it and when you go into a company and you say you'll do all of this they need not hire someone else and that is where you become a swiss knife your multi utility increases for example you must have seen when you go to buy a car there is a sedan and there is a Uh, MUV or a multi utility vehicle people prefer multi utility vehicles same way when you come to biotech sector people prefer uh, employees who have multiple skill set right so that's where the next step will be understanding the bioinformatics tools so you have to understand bioconductors gat k star hi set to all of this you will have to learn and implement now the question is how do you learn all of this the problem is there is no such course available but the industry is demanding and that is where if you want to become a data scientist biotechnica has got an internship which is starting at the end of may and this particular data science internship is clubbed with a 6 months project so you learn data science and then you implement data science in a real world biological problem right and when you do that you become a specialist in data science and then you'll get a chance to publish your research paper in top reputed journals along with biotechnica scientists who are working also in the biotechnica cro so what happens now you have built a reputation 
and then also you will be implementing various tools of data science. Of course, you must have heard of machine learning, you must have heard of statistical modeling, visualization, deep learning, all of that you will learn, you will be able to implement, you will also improve upon your scientific communication because you are actually going to publish your paper as well, right? The question is, how do you get started here? The best way to get started is if you are in your bachelor's or master's, then you are at the right place at the right time. Even if you are doing your PhD, you are in the first year, you should learn because any day when you will get into the industry, they are going to ask you, do you have this? And if you have, they hire you faster. It's not that they require it right now. They know that they will require it in the future. You already have it and they will hire you faster. Now the question is, what kind of hands-on work experience you will need? So we'll train you on public data sets like TCGA, GEO, NCOD. We will be uh, also helping you build your GitHub uh, portfolio, which will come handy when you are applying for jobs. So as a fresher, you have to know that what experience people lack and you have. And if you have that, you get hired faster. Now, what kind of companies will hire you? So once you have learned all of this during your bachelor's and master's, so the placement team of Biotechnica will start placing you. Now, what are the companies which is hiring? You have Biocon Biologics, which is hiring actively for bioinformatics scientists and data scientists. And the salary range is 6 to 8 lakhs per annum. If we move to Tata Consultancy Services, TCS, they also have a life science arm. And they are hiring data analysts in genomics, bioinformatics as a, as a consultant or a full-time employee. And the salary goes up to 12 lakh per annum. Now, Strand Life Science is another company in India which is actively hiring data scientists and they hire genomics data scientists, data analysts, computational biologists and um, the salary goes up to 15 lakh per annum. The minimum salary for freshers is 6 lakhs per annum. It goes up to 15 lakhs per annum. We are placing our candidates in these companies and you can also get a chance to get a job here. Then we have MedGenome. Of course, we have placed around 7 to 10 students just last month in MedGenome. And here, NGS data analyst jobs you can get, bioinformatics specialist jobs you can get and master students are getting salary of starting at 7 lakhs per annum goes up to 20 lakhs per annum. Medgenome is right now the top most bioinformatics uh, startup in India and they are actively hiring data scientists. And if you learn this, we can guaranteed place you here because this is a company where we have a direct tie up with their recruitment team and they keep sending their recruitment requirements and we keep sending our students. So Medgenome is a very good place to go. Now for that, you have NIA, BMG, ICGB, IIT, and uh, there you get jobs for uh, research scientists, data biologists, salary because it's a government so it goes up, up to 25 lakh per annum and then you have elucidata which is again a top-notch biotech funded by informatics startup and they are hi actively hiring for data analyst and machine learning biologist and they give salary up to 30 lakhs per annum starts at 10 lakhs goes up to 30 lakhs for a master's student who has all this experience so you can also join elucidata as well now, apart from that, we are also hiring. That means Biotechnica's CRO arm is also hiring. So if you do an internship with us, and if you're good, we will absorb you in our own company as at a salary which ranges from 6 lakhs per annum to 15 lakhs per annum. Biotechnica gives salary, which is me and our company. So you can see we are actively hiring and uh, if you're a data scientist, you can get this. So now how to get this uh, internship? The details about data science internship is given in the comment section. I have pinned it. Please click and uh, register yourself. Once you have taken the training, you'll get six months opportunity to do project with us and then you can get placed. Now, like I had told you in the beginning, what are the companies in USA, Europe, which is hiring actively for a data scientist or a data biologist? So you have Illumina, which is hiring bioinformatics scientists and data engineer at a salary which ranges from $110,000 to $160,000. Then we have Genentech, which uh, previously was called Roche. They hire principal scientists, computational biologists at a salary in which ranges $130,000 to $180,000. Then we have Grail Bio, which is hiring actively for machine learning biologists, genomics data lead. And there you can get a salary of $120,000 to $170,000. That is starting salary. Then we have Verily Life Sciences powered by Google. And here you can get a job as a data scientist in genomics, AI researcher at 
a salary of $140,000 to $200,000. Remember, Verily Life Sciences is a funded startup funded by Google itself, right? Then we have Amgen, Pfizer, Moderna. Now, these companies are hiring actively for bioinformatics analysts, data biologists, and they hire at a salary of $110,000 to $170,000. Then we have uh, Broad Institute, NIH, Stanford. Of course, these are academia, but they also hire staff scientists, data science leads, and they give a salary from $50,000 to $90,000 as a PhD or a postdoc student there. Then we have companies like Tempus, DNA Nexus, Seven Bridges, which is hiring for genomic engineer, computational biologist. Again, the salary goes up to $200,000. So you can see this is all about USA and Europe. Now, the common job titles which you will get in this these companies will be as a bioinformatics data scientist. They may call you a computational biologist. You may see jobs like genomic data analyst or machine learning biologist, systems biologist, biomedical data scientist, big data architect, life sciences, and AI-driven drug discovery specialist. These are the kind of jobs you will get. So if you see this kind of jobs next time on Biotechnica or anywhere, you have to remember that this is a data science in biology job. Now, the important part which you all should know is why am I endorsing data science right now? Is because, you know, when you are ahead of the curve, that then only you get the benefit. If you enter early, your chances of being there is very fast. You will be a senior data scientist. But right now, you are just getting started. So all you need is Biotechnica. Now, the best part of Biotechnica is we have an edtech arm which trains you. We have a CRO arm whose scientists will train you. And if you are good, we can absorb you in our own company. If not, we can always place you in other companies which I mentioned previously, right? So. All you have to do now is you have to learn and grow. What you have to do, do the internship with us, publish papers, do some projects with us, and then publish open source pipelines or papers and contribute to omics tools and GitHub projects, create your own portfolio on GitHub, create a strong LinkedIn profile around data science and bioinformatics and AIML, and then of course, um, you have to get indexed in Google Scholar, network with data biologists who are in biotech sector and apply for postdocs and PhD positions if need be, if you want to get into a scientist role in the future. Now coming to the last part, many students come to me saying, uh, what if this is a hype and it doesn't happen, right? Now, let me tell you this way that data was always there in biology, whether AI came or not, or uh, uh, bioinformatics was there or not. The only difference now is you have a better computer. Like t 10 years ago, you your phones were hardly 2 GB RAM. Now it is going up to 16 GB RAM, right? So what is happening? Things have changed. So if things have changed, we need to change. If we change faster, we become richer faster. So today's time should be spent in earning, in building your portfolio, and in your 40s, you will build your bank when you would have implemented all the learnings of the 20s in your career. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description. Go ahead and enroll yourself in the data science internship, which is starting from 29th of May. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment below or you can reach out to me at my email ID. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon in the next one. Till then, keep shining. Take care. Bye-bye.